Okay, right, so some people who know Matthew, uh, they, they literally call him the pimp of Instagram just because he, he runs Instagram, he has a lot of influence guys. Um, and I basically told him to meet me at Sebastian's new apartment to do this little interview, so uh, he should, should be in here. Hey, yo! <laughs> I've been expecting you. <laughs> So now that we got that out of the way, um, basically I'm going to have Matthew sort of walk through basically what he does on Instagram, um, how it relates to you know, marketing, even dropshipping, um, just to give you guys some feedback uh, and value for this video. So I mean, I guess first of all, you know, just kind of go over like what, what you do sort of for a living. Uh, so, well, I mean, man, I do a ton just like you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, e-commerce, uh, software stuff, uh, I own my own pages on Instagram. Um, I have a marketing agency, a local business marketing agency, uh, and then I have a course coming out. Oh, uh, I don't know. Cut that shit. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So basically, you got started though. Like, what, like what basically got you into everything was what Instagram. Uh, so I started on Twitter. I would grow Twitter pages. It's actually really funny. So I used to grow Twitter pages off of like some really spam website, uh, one of those like follow unfollow things. Mm -hmm. And um, after a while, after like weeks of doing that, I could finally sell posts for like three dollars, and it was the happiest day of my life. So uh, eventually, I sold my Twitter accounts, got uh, some Instagram accounts, and then started growing those, selling shoutouts on them, flipping them, and then eventually ended up in e-commerce. Okay, and so, so you moved from Twitter to growing Instagram, yep. Instagram pages, yep. and then from there, how did you sort of like build into like or get into like e-commerce and that? Did you like selling shoutouts? Uh, yeah, like, so I sold shoutouts for like I don't know how many years, like three years, and then uh, I was like, why am I selling shoutouts when I could just be making the money myself if I just built my own stores? So then eventually I started building my own stores. Okay, okay, and then are you able to give? Any of my subscribers from the pages you own? Is that something you can do? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. Oh, so, okay. So, okay, my probably my favorite page of mine, and that's because like I have an OG at on it, is uh, at Ast, okay. which is A E S T on Instagram. So it's like, or <laughs> so yeah, it's like a, a, a just an aesthetic page. I mean, it works super well with like any like girl content, uh, girl ads, like ads that promote products that girls would like, uh, clothing, female clothing, mainly. So yeah, it's a, that's, that's my favorite page. It's small. I mean, all my pages are like relatively small, but my total network is like 1.5 mil, so not terrible. Okay. And then, I know I was talking to you earlier, you were saying kind of like you don't really sell shoutouts too much anymore. Um, you kind of just work with clients, sort of. Uh, you want to go over that? Uh, yeah, so I would still sell shoutouts on my pages, but like really overpriced because I try to make it so that way my clients and my marketing agency get like a uh, better rate by working with my agency. Like better so, quality sort of return. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's to, it, it ends up being a lot more valuable to me to not destroy my pages by just posting like every shout out because a lot of influencers do that that's why you'll see like uh for drop shippers if you're promoting on pages that have done like a ton of shout outs that post like three four shout outs a day then you're probably not going to make any sales because i mean there's literally three or four different shops trying to sell on that page every single day mm -hmm. and so i mean that's kind of tying into like why people say you know influencers are kind of dying off um, in a way. Yeah, but I think those people are wrong. I yeah. think they're haters, but... Yeah. <laughs> and so, so what would you say, like, kind of that then? Like, if, if someone were, like, you know, influencers are dead? Um, I mean, honestly, I just think that if you think influencers are dead, then your stuff just isn't... You're, it's either not targeted enough, or you're paying too much. You're paying too One much, of, or just, like, yeah. the page itself is, like, crap, or...? Well, I mean, no matter how terrible a page is, like, if they have some sort of following, you should be able to make at least one sale off of it. So that means as long as you're paying less than what the profit would be on one sale, then you can still make money. You can still make money. Okay. Yeah. And then, so let's say, so from Instagram, or I guess sort of from Twitter, and then it's Instagram, sort of like what are you kind of doing nowadays in terms of just, I don't know, making money online? Uh, oh, uh, mainly e-commerce, mainly drop shipping. Um, and then just like my marketing agency, I would say those are my two like main things right now. Okay, um, and then, okay, so let's talk about, I guess, your agencies, and that's kind of what you do on the, on the marketing side of things. 
Um, so basically, you you just working with clients to help their their stores or? Uh, yeah. So like anything. I mean, my with my marketing agency, we can pretty much work with like anyone that has any type of brand that that they want to promote. So like a lot of what we work with are personal brands. So we work with like some artists, some singers. Um, we work with like actual brands, like clothing brands. Uh, work with a lot of drop shipping stores. I mean, obviously that's like the main that's thing. Like, like, like bigger now. Yeah, drop shipping is so huge. So, so like we have we have a lot of drop shippers that we work with, um, and then a lot of white label, like private label stuff. Uh, I think that's what works best, just because like it's like it, unique. It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like slightly different than regular drop shipping products, but it works really well because it's still pretty low ticket. So like the audience, it. it the audience on Instagram reacts really well with those kind of products. Okay. And so your agency, is it just Instagram or what? Uh, we do Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook ads. Okay. So I know you were saying that you have a bunch of people who are looking to Yeah, I'm saying like, I there's, a lot, there's a lot of subscribers here that I know, like, I, they literally hit me up and they're like, hey, can you do my marketing? Yeah. I'm like, hey, do that? And I don't have the time for that. And I don't know if you have the case. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, so like, I mean, we're 100% down to take on more clients. We just built up our Facebook ads team. So now we have two account managers who are ready to go. Um, and then also my boy, Max, uh, you know, Max, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the boy, yeah, yeah the boy, Max so Shanko, yeah. shout out. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so he's going to be like, uh, basically heading the Facebook ads side of my marketing agency. So we do that. Um, so and it's, then, it's basically just like a all in once. So you don't have to like do some. You, know, like you don't have to do your own Instagram channel as exactly. well. Like throw your marketing yeah. to Facebook ads team or like a Snapchat ads team, anything like that. Have you yep. guys thought about doing Pinterest at all? Oh, dude, you yeah. talked about that the other day. Yeah. You kind of you got me thinking actually. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I know I want to see some video too because like even like with all the subscribers watching, like Pinterest is like. It's the third, you know, top yeah. social media site. They have an IPO yet. Yeah. Like, I think it's something that's kind of interesting. Um, sort of looking, looking I mean, things. honestly, I think that if we don't get into it soon, then we're probably missing out. Okay. So I would say yes. So, so it's a good thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I would say yes. I would. Uh, the biggest thing is we're just like busy trying to focus on. I, the thing is, I don't want to sacrifice quality, so I don't want to just like have. Uh, anyone yeah. handle Pinterest like I don't want to just pick someone and say hey you're gonna do Pinterest so I would rather uh, keep focusing on the things we're doing right now and then eventually have someone who I can be like hey uh, I want you to dedicate all your time on winning Pinterest and then we'll offer it but for the time being um, just Instagram Facebook and snap so you know the main things yeah exactly. the main ones and then I guess going outside of that whole agency talk real quick um, and I'm just kind of going back to like, oh, why do people call you the, the freaking fucking pimp of Instagram and everything, I guess. Like, even now, just hanging out with you these last few days, like, what, you, you drive a... A vet. A, a Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> and then you bought a house or something? Already? Yeah, like, so I, I bought my first house when I was in high school. And so that was pretty cool. First house, and you want to me now? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm a college dropout. I'm a degenerate now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, college just wasn't, it wasn't the move. Mm -hmm. It was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, that's a conversation for another day. Oh, yeah. But so, I mean, people call me the pimp of Instagram mainly just because of the way I negotiate and the rates we get with like all the theme pages. So part of that is just because like I've been a theme page owner for years. So I know a lot of the people who own the pages. And then part of it is just like, I remember when people would negotiate with me, like all the things they would say to get me to like, basically sell my shops for dirt cheap. So then over time, uh, I was like, you know, I should start my own marketing agency because I could just be like using this knowledge and all You've these things. Like, yeah, sides of the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was already, I had already done like a little bit of marketing, like for some drop shipping stores here and there, and then I, I mean, I'd own pages for so long, so it made sense to me, and it was, it, I mean, it's working. It's yeah, working pretty exactly. well. Yeah, And then I guess to kind of like sort of wrap it up, like if you were to give, I guess you know, a few tips or something to either like e-commerce people or people like looking to utilize Instagram more or something like that, kind of what would you kind of say? Um, my best tip is always make sure that the page that you're promoting on actually fits what you're trying to promote. I think a lot of people make the mistake of trying to get their ad on whatever is going to be cheap. But the thing you got to understand is uh, cheap is different depending on what niche you're in. If you're in like a really underdeveloped, like not super saturated niche, then the cheap shout outs are going to be more expensive, but like there's very few people promoting on there. So if you find a niche that not a lot of people are promoting in yet, even if it costs a little bit more to promote in the beginning, it, it will probably end up being so much more worth it in the long run. Like, 
I know that uh, my most successful store through theme pages happen to be like a really dedicated niche store. So uh, that's like that's probably the best advice I can give for Hell Instagram. Yeah. No, awesome, dude. Okay, so yeah, I guess that kind of you know wraps up the whole you know meet the fucking Instagram pimp that's twenty years old who fucking drives a Corvette, <laughs> owns a house, bought a house in high school. Um, but yeah, guys, so that is the video. Make sure to leave a like, guys. Check out his channel; it'll be the link down in the description. If you are interested in you know kind of utilizing his agency um, to basically manage all sort of like all your social platforms, I'll link that as well. I'll, see I'll link that down as well, guys. Everything's linked down below the course and everything. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, guys. I just wanted everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Like the video.